The Oregon State Board of Higher Education is letting University of Oregon President Richard LaRiviere go. Good evening, I'm Brandi Smith. And I'm Rick Douglas. KEZI first broke the news last night. The OUS board offered to let him resign, but Richard LaRiviere said today he remains committed to serving as president through the end of his contract until July 1st. KEZI 9 News reporter Kate Renner is live on campus with our top story at 6. Kate? Brandon Rick, many faculty members are speaking out against the release of UO President Richard LaRiviere. At a meeting this morning for the department heads of the College of Art and Science, there was a unanimous vote among department heads in support of Richard LaRiviere. And the Alumni Association and Nike founder Phil Knight both released statements saying the decision promotes mediocrity. On his first day on the job in 2009, President Richard LaRiviere looked to shake things up. The old models are clearly broken, and uh, we continue to hope that they won't be, but they are. So we've got to come up with some new solutions. But could it be those new solutions that cost him his job? We have a president who is a visionary, who has courage, who made uh, more change in his two and a half years than even seems possible. So it's, um, you know, there, there's, there's a consistent outcry across campus. People are feeling really hurt disappointed and in some respect lost because it's unbelievable that this has happened. Jerry Richmond served on the Higher Education Board from 1999 to 2006. She says it seems the board tried to limit La Riviere's innovation. It's important to be a good university in the state but it's more important to be viewed as a good university outside of the state and Richard has that vision and that's what we're we've lost now. Paul Weinhold is the CEO for the UO Foundation. He says he's worried about the future of the university's endowments. From current discussions that we've had with significant donors that, that they'll probably be waiting on the sidelines to see who the next president's going to be so it will have a, it will have a meaningful impact. It's widely known La Riviere clashed with the OUS as he tried to make each university autonomous. But according to the Oregon State Board of Higher Education, this wasn't about policy. Uh, this personnel decision uh, has uh, absolutely nothing to do with the uh, policy debate underway, uh, which I think is a very good and constructive policy debate. But many on campus disagree, believing his release is because of a difference in philosophy. The fact that he wasn't getting along with the the OUS board seems to be the only issue. In his email to students and staff yesterday, President LaRiviere held true to the hope for a change in the OUS, saying, Our bold ideas have led to the promise of additional changes in the not too distant future, including eventual consideration of our proposal for individual universities to form local governing boards. And the student senate has issued a petition to get La Riviere reinstated. Live in Eugene, Kate Renner, KEZI 9 News.